Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Kikri Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and in this video I will share my learning about ClickView pivot tables. If you are learning this uh, ClickView pivot tables or ClickView dashboarding and reporting related videos to learn more about how to do work in a click view i bet that you must have done some reporting and analysis either in microsoft excel or open office or any other spreadsheet system uh, where you were doing some uh, some reporting for management or for our regular routine related work so in that reporting systems also you will find the pivot tables and pivot tables are nothing but a cross table kind of a structure where you have the uh, the repeated dimension or uh, you know repeated values like this uh, sales rep year quarter these are all repetitive values so these values are either present in a column or in a row or in a combination of row and column to better represent the data so without any further talking let's quickly analyze the data uh, that will be used for creating a pivot table here in click view and then we will go ahead and create the pivot table so as we can see uh, here is some sales related data so we have the information of sales rep the year information its related quarter what is the sales for the sales rep what is the incentive for the sales rep and the spend that the sales rep has done to generate this much sales all right so in this kind of an information where you can clearly see the values are repeating again and again for different year and different quarters the pivot table can provide you a very good visual for with uh, to provide a good information for this kind of data so let's see how we can create a pivot table here and for that we will right click on the blank space go to new sheet object and click on chart yes so the pivot table are also present in this uh, chart uh, option of new object so here the this option which I'm highlighting is the pivot table I'll click on this and I will click on next so the dimensions on which we want to lay down our data this sales incentive and spend which is which is my basic data and these are my dimensions sales rep year and quarter as they are repeating again and again for these data points so i will take these three uh, value which is sales rep so i have it uh, wrong in the back end which is saying sales by reason but it is actually sales rep so don't confuse over there uh, then we have year and quarter so here is the year and next is quarter so I will take quarter and I will click on next now we need now we can take either all of these three as an expression one by one or we can take any one of them so for this demonstration I will just take the express sum of sales uh, to explain the pivot tables so for this I will enter sum and the brackets in the brackets we will say sales click OK here also we will enter label as sales and for now we'll click finish alright so as you can see all of this information which is present in this table box is coming like this and very difficult to read however here the information is now grouped according to the dimensions we have given while creating the chart so the first dimension is a sales by region we can change it to sales by rep and for that we will right click on properties that's a quick change that we are doing so here I have sales by region I will just change the label here sales by rep click OK okay more meaningful sales by rep and uh, if I expand this sales rep column by or the sales rep row by clicking on this plus button which is an expand button click on this it will show the year information 
so in 2011 here is my data point 2012 here is my data point 2013 here is my data point so more meaningful information if i want to go further want to do a deep down dive into this data i will expand this 2011 and it will show me all of these four quarters information so now for 2011 i am now having the having the visibility that how much the sales rep uh, uh, has done the sales in all of these quarters now the next part is this that we can create a cross table kind of a structure based on this information so what i mean by this is so for example if i just want sales rep on the uh, in a vertical row and year and quarter on a horizontal row i can simply drag the value drag these columns and put a structure like that which will make more meaning to my customer so for now i will uh, i have just clicked on year and dragging it over to here at a column or this row above the sales all right so now you can see let me just drag a bit so now you can see my year is coming here at a row so in 2011 here is q1 here is q2 here is q3 and q4 but something is not making sense because i have year over here at row and quarters are coming up in the column but ideally quarter will come below to the year so what i will do i will again drag this value here here below to the ear and i will get a more meaningful view so if i if i just drag do a little bit of dragging and make it more visually appealing I am doing like this now I have my sales rep here my ear information here which is now a cross table kind of a structure and I'm having the values in the middle and now I can further expand or collapse it according to my requirement so if I want to see how much how these guys are doing the sales reps are doing in 2013 I can expand and see my values so in 2013 so far q1 and q2 has happened and here is my figures right if i want to collapse i just collapse it and if i want to go back and see 2011 i can see my 2011 data points more uh, meaningful and visually compelling as compared to this normal straight table or a straight uh, table box so this is how you can create a pivot table uh, in the uh, click view and it has some properties like you want to format the numbers and all the properties are again very simple I will right click on the pivot table go to properties and in the number tab which is similar to all of those charts which we have discussed so far so in number we have uh, say integer column if we want to remove all of the data uh, decimal points data point after decimal click apply and ok so my value is coming like this uh, more meaningful and giving me a good idea about how the sales are and uh, some of the properties also uh, let's quickly like, take a look in presentation I can do the alignment of data by selecting a particular uh, dimension and expression and uh, I can show the show partial sum which is a very important property sometimes you want uh, you know the total uh, either at the end or at the uh, here at the vertical si side or at the horizontal side in that case the show partial sum is very meaningful so if i want the partial sum sales by wrap i will enable this and click apply and okay so here is my uh, data point or the sum is coming and uh, apart from that uh, uh, here we have other options like we want these subtotals at top or bottom we can change that so if I just select a top and click apply these will come at the top or if I click here it will come at bottom 
right so pretty much similar properties and uh, uh, some of the properties are especially for pivot table for example this always fully expanded this is basically because we have this plus sign the expand or collapse sign if we click uh, here and say always fully expanded click apply you will see that it will automatically expand it and you will not find the plus sign because we have selected that property so very relevant and very much specific to the pivot tables so for now let's uncheck this because we don't want that click apply okay and now again the plus size has come so very simple but uh, powerful tool these pivot tables are where you produce the cross table information which management wants to see and they always appreciate you know you are showing most information um, and meaningful information but in a smaller size or taking a smaller section of the entire dashboard so i hope you will find this video useful and uh, uh, i believe you will uh, be able to use it in your dashboard and report and uh, you know provide a good information to your management so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss uh, in this video and uh, i will meet you in the next video with a new chart till then bye bye